Hey there, welcome to this episode of Just One Quick Question. Today I'm talking to Bess Hour, who helps people build online communities of raging fans and loyal customers. She is the founder of a company called Unio, and you can find them online at buildwithunio.com. Bess has trained more than 2,000 business owners, marketers, and influencers in how to build online community. And here's what happened when I asked her just one quick question. How do you stay inspired? Oh, so you're asking me that while I'm surrounded with all of this behind me. Yeah. <laughs> so is yeah. this audio and visual? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just, just yes. making sure if I'm not referencing something people can't see. So I mean, you um, know what? We may end up doing a podcast as well. So it might be audio only in some it. cases. I but... will describe it for those of you who cannot see me right now. I'm standing in our newly renovated living room. And uh, my, we've lived in this house for 20 years. This used to just be a brown box with, you know, it was a living room that we only put a Christmas tree up in once a year. And besides that, we never used it. Right. And when we finally got around to redoing it, uh, my husband said, what do you want to do with it? I said, well, I would like a library. So that's what you can't see on this side. Yeah. And on the other side, he wanted a bar. So we have a bar that he built. So we did everything ourselves. We tore out the walls down to the studs and everything. Uh, I think, JT, you probably saw some of it on, on Instagram as I was posting yeah. the remodeling. But everything in here kind of looks like, I don't know, a, a memorabilia store kind of vomited on the walls. <laughs> And we have a lot of color and a lot of things that mean absolutely nothing to anybody else. So all of but these, but best not yeah. memorabilia store like in the way of a Cracker Barrel. I mean, it, it's got that industrial open feel. It does, it does. But every single picture on the walls, and we have a lot of them. Yeah, is something that means the world to my family. So we have Aww. pictures of my grandfather, his his army ID from World War II. We have letters that he wrote to my mom when she was a child and he included little, you know, bills, dollar money from like, you know, Luxembourg and places like wow. that he visited. I have pictures of my brother who's passed away. And so again, they mean nothing to everybody else, but it gives me such joy that now this is our most used room in the house. Cool. So what keeps me inspired is this environment that we've created here. Wow. And, you know, uh, I mentioned COVID earlier and a lot of us spend a lot of time at home and, sure. you know, working from home, remote working, shutting in, shutting out the world. And it, uh, it, it, it drove home to me how much your environment makes a difference. And so wow. I don't know if you can see over here, there's a bike hanging from the ceiling. Can oh, yeah, that? yeah, yeah. I can yeah. tell. Yeah, right. so the bike is actually from my husband's childhood. He's kept it all this time. So when I mean no, this kidding. means nothing to anybody else, but gives me life every single time I walk in this room. So this is where my office is. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm zooming from here. And right. I mean, this is, uh, I, it really drove home to me how much your environment plays an impact, not only on your mental state, but your creativity and just your well-being. So absolutely my environment that keeps me inspired. That's how you stay inspired. How many hours a day are you in that space? Oh my gosh. So well, you know, we, we have the big TV here on and I'm one of these, I get up very early. You know, when you get older, you don't sleep as well as you used to. I get it. <laughs> and my 83 year old mother lives with us. So she, oh, and I, cool. yeah, she and I usually get up around, uh, no kidding, around 4 30 or so. Right. Uh, just because we can't sleep anymore. And so we head out. That's early, even by early standards. Yeah, it is. That's like it David is. Goggins kind of early. Yeah. So she and I head outside first thing and sit by the koi pond. And we're bundled up this time of year because it's cold. And we sit there in the dark watching the stars, listening to the fish in the water and watching, you know, we count satellites as they fly over. 17 is our record. And we then watch the sunrise in the morning and then she heads into kind of her side of the house. I head in here and I'm in here the entire rest of the day. Usually my TV is on. I've got, you know, law and order playing just for background noise and then perfect sitting here working. So you're running a business out of this space. I am. 
and it's where you get inspired and it's where you now read and watch TV and everything. Yeah. Cool. And don't you have, I'm trying to remember from the photos, like to your left, maybe, is there like a full on library catwalk? Uh, like, yeah. Yeah, there is. So I'll actually tip my camera up. Will you do well. that for us? Yeah. 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 So right over here, you can see there is oh, yeah. a stairway. And then if you keep going up, I'm actually under the catwalk. Got it. Uh, it's it's running right above me, and it does have bookshelves on both sides. So that was my library, and uh, yeah, and uh, the cats do use it in addition to me. I'm the only one that uses it. But, a literal uh, catwalk. A literal catwalk. Yeah. How many cats are there? We've got two rescue cats. Also inspiring in their own way, I'm sure. <laughs> Except for the one that keeps getting out and terrorizing the neighborhood. They're perfect. Oh, life. got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Do they terrorize the koi? No, surprisingly enough. So we've got uh, for your for your viewers, we've we turned our swimming pool into a koi pond. I didn't about, want to say it. I didn't know if you wanted to tell people yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About okay. five yeah. and a half years ago. Well, it's funny because on TikTok, I'm known as the koi lady because I post so many pictures of it that now they all say, "Hey, it's the koi lady." So, okay, sure. Um, they uh, we we about five years ago we after Hurricane Irma turned our pool green, you know, because we lost power for a couple of days. Yeah. Uh, we looked at each other, my husband and I, and I'm like, you know, we don't ever use this pool. Should we spend all the money to buy the shock and the chlorine and put all the effort to turn it back blue? And he goes, let's just put some fish in it. So we went down to our local PetSmart, bought four koi, put them in. We said, if they live, we'll get some more. They did live. So then we ordered about 40 more. And now we have over 200 in there. So... <laughs> Unbelievable. None of our pets so bother the koi pond. They just kind of assume they're part of our family. So Wow. <laughs> okay. I know nothing about koi. How do you feed them? Or what do they eat? Uh, koi food. So, I mean, they koi can food. eat a variety of stuff. But I order, no kidding, the cheapest off of Amazon, whatever brand happens to be cheapest. Currently, I get a 50-pound bag once a month of Purina brand koi food. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> me asking what do they eat well you know a cat eats cat food a dog eats dog <laughs> food so naturally koi would eat koi food i yes. get it this is great thank you so much for taking time to come out of your little bubble for a little bit and talk to us yeah yeah well thank you thank you jt I, I won't make you meet me in person well, I appreciate that, but I am looking forward to see what, what other people say. I'm sure I'm not going to be the only one that says your environment has to keep you inspired, but I do look forward. You're, you're probably really, right. You're yeah. really interviewing oh. 100 people. I'm going to try. You know what? Yeah, I said 100, so I've got to do it. I I'm mean, holding you to it. If I have to, I will go stand on Orange Avenue in downtown Orlando with an iPhone and a microphone and just, you know, accost people. That works. Don't It'll work. Yeah, for Don't sure. <laughs> Thanks, Bess. Have a great day. Awesome. Thank you. Sitting by the koi pond with mom early in the morning, counting satellites. I don't know. I think Bess won the life lottery. That, that's, a, that's a pretty sweet existence. Really, really glad that she did this. And I'm really glad you were here to check it out. If you dig what I'm doing, please subscribe, tell other people about it, and until next time, keep it crusty.